So as part of your Gishan Creek assignment, you will be um, creating a geo database for all of your data. Now the issue is that um, data that comes out of Pathfinder Office, so data from the, the GNSS equipment and the data you collected in the field will all be in these shape files, right? So here I've got um, some, if we look under the, the layers part of the table of contents, we'll see that this is all my, my shape files. So I've got bench, light, trail, and tree. Bench, light, trail, and tree. And I symbolize these a little bit. So that is the shape files. And then this is my database. And I want all my layers to be part of that geo database. So unfortunately, you can't just go like this, drag and drop. It won't let you drag and drop. You have to import it into your geo database. So these features to me are all a type of infrastructure. So I want to bring that into my feature data set. So I'm going to right click and you're going to go import feature class multiple. Now you're going to add all the shape files. So click on this cross here. Hmm, not working. Okay, click on that. And then I believe if you hit control, you can hit a f collect a few at the same time. So I hit control on my keyboard and I selected multiples. Click add. And now these are all ready to be outputted into your geo database under the infrastructure feature data set. Now click OK. So now you just need to be patient. It takes a little bit of time. And I'm just waiting so that you can experience how long it takes to load these shape files. Okay, we're almost there. So ultimately for this assignment, we want you to organize all your shape files in a geo database. Therefore, they all share a common um, uh, projection, but also um, they all organize in one folder and there's some other things down the road that are a benefit to geodatabases, which we will explore at other points. But just so you know, this is what we want you to do. So once that's complete, you hit close. And now what you'll see is within the infrastructure, you'll now have bench. Um, and then I had that trail PA. And then there's two versions of trees. So. What I strongly organize or recommend is that collect all your data in the field, then start sorting through it, bring it in a geo database. So you're going to export as a shape file in Pathfinder Office, but eventually just bring it to a geo database and then start symbolizing. Because the issue now is that if I bring my bench into here, It will no longer see these points on my map. They no longer carry the symbol that they originally had. So don't spend time symbolizing things till you've organized your geodatabase.